Hello, and welcome to today's ServiceNow Express Overview video covering the new dictionary functionality available in Istanbul. To begin, let's navigate to the dictionary. There's a few ways you can do so. One is to head over to the collection record of a dictionary, which is like the container of a table, by heading over to Manage Table and picking what that table is going to be. Here, we are brought to the dictionary form. Depending on what the field type is of that dictionary form, you're going to see different attributes available as well as different fields available. Let's talk about the new fields available in Istanbul. To begin, on the collection record, you see that the auditing and the text index on computer is enabled. Be it a custom table or existing table, you can go ahead and press the generate text index related link to go and actually apply a text index to a table. Why this is important is for global search. So let's say we're wondering what Joe's computer looks like. Well, today when we search for Joe, we can't access that CMDB information because most of the CI tables are not text indexed. So after you enable text indexing, head over to edit search groups, create a new text search group, and add your CMDB. Let's head back to the computer collection record. Here, on the computer collection, we covered how you enable a text index. You can also decide if you want to enable or disable auditing, which will generate your activity, as well as define any attributes that apply to this collection. The following attributes are available for collections. The first is attachment index. If attachment index is added and given the value of true, all attachments on the table will be indexed for search purposes. Also, the email client feature will be added if you set it to true. This is found by default on the incident table, giving your technicians the option to send a one-off email directly from the platform. You can now enable this on any custom or existing table by simply setting the email client attribute to true on that record of the dictionary collection. Finally, you can decide if there's no attachments that should be added, as well as if there should be no auditing. So as an example, I'll select email client, type in the value of true, and submit. Now, if I head over to the computer record, I will see an email client option. Now, depending on the field type, you'll see different attributes available. Let's take a look at a string field like acid tag. I'm going to go ahead and right click, configure dictionary to open up the dictionary form for that field. And I'm going to scroll down to the attributes related list. Here we can see I've already added the enable barcode scanner attribute and set the value to true. What this does is it allows any user using the native app to go ahead and actually use their phone's camera to scan a barcode and translate that value into a string field. Other attributes that are available on non-collections include the ability to define a location input helper for if you're using the iOS and like to use your current location, the ability to turn on or off the HTML sanitizer. Now this one's important because, for example, on a knowledge base record, a knowledge article, you're going to go ahead and have HTML sanitizer on by default. So by creating an HTML sanitize attribute and setting it to false, it prevents the sanitizer from running, letting you embed external content like videos. In addition, you also have the ability if that field should have a knowledge search option available, this is seen on incident as the small book icon, as well as if you should have the live feed option. Finally, you can set attributes such as the SLA basis, generally done on the collection record, which defines for that given table what field should be used for the start time of an SLA. By default, we use the work start field on all tables but incident. Incident uses the open field. Please refer to the formal ServiceNow Express documentation for exact values to apply to these given attributes. Final attributes not yet mentioned on reference fields include items such as the tree picker, which defines if you should use a hierarchy of reference values in a tree 
as opposed to a list. Again, if it's true and you'd like to set it to false, simply add that attribute, set the value to false. If, on the other hand, it is not true and you'd like it to be enabled, set the value to true and submit. As we can see, assignment group has gone from a list to the group hierarchy. Now that we've covered attributes and adding the attributes, let's talk about some of the fields. You'll notice a couple of fields added to these dictionary entry forms. The first one is standard read only to easily set a field read only and mandatory, which have existed in the form designer historically. The two new fields added are unique and display. Let's take a look at it in the context of the asset tag once more. The unique field will cause this value to become unique. This means users in the system cannot create more than one record with this given column holding a given value. So if my asset tag is AB and I try to create another asset with asset tag AB, it will prevent that from happening in the system. Please note that you can only cause a unique value to occur if the existing records are unique. So if you already have two asset tags of AB in your CMDB and you attempt to set it unique, the system will prevent you telling you you need to clean up and make unique the current column. The next field is the concept of display. By setting display to true, all reference fields to the given table will use the given column instead of the generic name. So for asset tag, we set this to be the display. As we can see when we navigate to an incident, instead of for example seeing Joe's laptop or Joe's IBM, the configuration items are now searched and defined by their asset tags. This has been an overview of the new dictionary functionality available in the Istanbul release of ServiceNow Express.